Assalamu alaikum karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar's Kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you how I make this beautiful, delicious, soft bakery style chocolate chip cookies. So in the bowl over here, I've got three and a half cups of all-purpose flour with some baking powder and baking soda, some salt. I'm going to sift it well and keep it aside. Now on the other bowl, I've got some soft butter that's about three-fourth cup and one and a quarter cup of light brown sugar and one cup of white granulated sugar so we're just going to mix it well please make sure that the butter is in room temperature because it's going to be easy to mix it all right so i'm just going to grab my hand mixer which is not necessary if you don't have one don't worry about it because i want to make sure that you do not overwork the mixture you want it to look and feel like wet sand just like that then we're just going to add the eggs also, please make sure that the eggs are in room temperature. So I'm just going to start with the first one. Just to combine, because you don't want to overmix the batter. It's not a batter, actually it's a dough. And then the second one, and also please do add the vanilla at this point. I forgot to add mine. And then we're just going to scrap it. Scrap the bowl. This is very important. We're just going to add the flour. Now, I'm just going to add it in small badges because, like I mentioned, you do not want to overwork the cookie dough because you want it to be like a cookie, to have a cookie texture, not a cake. All right? So when you overwork your dough, it's going to become like a cake or it's going to become very hard. All right? So we're just going to fold it in just like that. Now, I have done this recipe back in 2015. It's in English only with the Swahili subtitles. Now, in that recipe, I have used uh, bread flour and uh, all-purpose flour. You get nice, chewy cookies. But since I don't have bread flour, I've just been making all-purpose flour, which works fine, but it's just less chewy. All right? And then I'm going to finish all the flour. And uh, you can make this dough ahead of time and keep it in the freezer for at least two weeks if you want them fresh and then use it as and when you want all right so now i'm just gonna grab my mixer and uh, just a quick mix and then i realized that i did not use the vanilla so i used about uh, one teaspoon that was it so I just have to use my hands now to mix it because like I mentioned, I do not like to overwork my cookie dough. All right. Okay, so now we're just going to add the chocolate chips, which is about two cups. Ideally, you'll fold this in, but because I just added the vanilla, I just decided to use my hands just like that. And that's it. It's very, very simple. And then after this, I like to divide mine into three badges because you can easily get about three dozens of uh, medium-sized cookies. And uh, you can do two badges. So I just divide them, make a nice log, and then wrap them up nicely. Keep them in the freezer for at least 24 hours before you bake them, all right? And that's how... We do cookies in the bakery. They do. I don't work in the bakery anymore. But when I used to work in the bakery, this is how we do. All right. So you want to throw this in the fridge for at least an hour or half an hour outside before you cut them because they're going to be frozen. And make sure that your oven is ready at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 176 Celsius. So you're just going to slice them like that, any size you want, but these would give you a nice uh, medium size. Too small. And then after that, I'm just going to put them in a proper shape. As you can see, the base is not properly. So you're just going to squeeze them in a little bit, just like that, just to make them round. And these will be cold. Please make sure that you bake them while they're still cold. And that's how you get the best chocolate chip cookies. All right. And when you keep them in the tray, also you want to keep some space so that when they spread, they do not touch. Now for the rest of the dough, 
this is the other way that you can do is just make a nice ball like that you can flatten it if you want and um, these will bake exactly for 13 minutes do not over bake them they will become hard and dry so when you get them out you touch they're still soft leave them to continue cooking in the tray for about 10 minutes outside the oven then they'll be ready to go on the cooling rack you can eat them while they're still warm they taste delicious and you can keep them in room temperature too all right and please don't forget to visit the description box below for the ingredients and the measurements now check out our cookies they're nice and soft and delicious and this is the rest of the cookies and uh, thank you so much for watching for more recipes please do visit me at aroma of zanzibar have a nice day thank you